Keen. Yes, um, have you, so have you experienced stop and search before yourself? Um, yes, um, I've been stopped and searched a lot of times. Um, I can't even tell you how many times you've been stopped in search. It's just something that happens all the time. And has, has it happened for good reason? Like you've been acting suspiciously or doing something wrong? No, or like, can you not think of a reason? The most weirdest reason was just being outside my house, outside the block, just chilling with my friends. We stopped in search, walking to the shop, going to work, coming from school, jumping off a bus. There, there's never, you can't pinpoint a specific reason as to why you're being stopped and said. It's just, they, the police just comes out the blue, suddenly the police is there, hitting you with section 60 or what or whatnot, and they're giving you all the nonsense excuses as to why they're stopping you. You just say aye, and then you're searching, and then you go about your business. The first couple of times it annoyed me, but then because it got so frequent after after like a year or two, it kept happening, happening, you just forget about it, and it happens. So after time, you see it like a fact of life, yeah, it living in East London, yeah, right? it's, I mean, it's, it's East London, you're young, you dress in a certain way, you talk in a certain way, you're going to be stopped in search, that's just the reality of this life, unfortunately. And the fact of the matter is, you don't like it, but then you ain't got the right to say, no, I'm not going to be stopped in search. The police, they can either stop you, search you nicely, or they can force themselves onto you. So you just have to think twice about how they're going to search you, because you can never get searched quickly in five minutes and you're off, or you can lead into something that's much bigger. So me, after a while, I even stopped collecting their um, search slips because they were piling up at home, but I didn't know what I was going to do with them, so I even threw them away, because what can you do? So you were often given receipts then? Yeah, like, because I think, in Newham, I think it's the police have to give you a form. Every, a yeah, form. I don't yeah. know I don't know if, if that's correct, but every it's time true. I was stopped in search, police officers gave you a form. Like you didn't require it, gave you a form, but I started turning down them forms. I like, look, I don't need the form no more because I'm, I'm going to be stopped in search tomorrow anyway. Do you understand? It's not so what, what do you think about the idea? Some people say it's important to collect these receipts or records mm -hmm. so that they can oh. use them to complain. So if everyone complains, everyone gets them, they can complain and try and put more pressure for the police to stop and search people in a different way. What do you think of that? Um, it's a good idea. I won't lie, it's a good idea, but that's just not for me. Um, me, I, It's not that I ain't got the time, but I ain't got the time. I'm not going to pile up a lot of slips, slips, slips just to complain to the police because the police is above the law. That's a reality. I mean, the police, in the past few years, there's been situations where they've killed someone. You understand? For instance, the protester that they killed a few years ago, it was it, 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 it was manslaughter, but the police officer didn't get time. So me being stopped in search, taking my issues with me to be, you know, I'm being stopped in search. What's going to happen? Nothing. I'm just going to get a receipt. Yes, we've received your complaint and it's going to go on. It's not going to end. At the end of the day, the police is above the law. You will get stopped in search. I can complain, but then what am I going to get out of it? In the end, nothing. I'm still going to be stopped in search the, the very next day. It's not going to stop. It's not going to end and nothing's going to come out of it. And that's just a sad reality of where we live. And what would you say... Um I mean, you did a um, workshop today, mm -hmm. um, learning about your learning your rights. Did you learn anything you didn't know before from that? Um, yes, but no. Um, there were certain things that more, a lot of the laws I knew already. For instance, I don't have to give them my name. I don't have to give um, my, my personal details to them when they're stopping searching me. I didn't know that they're not allowed to threaten to arrest you. Like, that's one thing, that, you know, like, oh, we, every time the police will stop you and ask for your name, and you say no, a lot of officers threaten to arrest you, say, well, we're going to arrest you. I didn't know that they're not actually allowed to do that, so that was something new. Um, and uh, uh, just a number of little things, other things that, you know, that popped up in the workshop that, yeah, I did learn, and I think it's a very useful workshop that should be taken across the city, across the country, because the sad reality is a lot of young people don't actually know their rights, and they don't actually know the fact that they, they they, they don't have to give their personal details to the person who's being searched, which is a sad reality of the life. But so this workshop is something that's definitely needed to be taken across the whole city. Yeah, yeah.